Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for January 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to this full video with basically all uh, the analysis of all the commodities and precious metals on Ether. You will also get access to our signal service and our online trades and courses. So this has been uh, quite a day. So there's a lot of volatility due to the election in, in Georgia and then basically attempted coup in the United States, which also uh, had a, quite a big impact on the market. It will most likely not last, but uh, well, things got really scary uh, to be fairly honest. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index, and as you can see, we fell to even lower levels today. We were at the 89.15 and then pulled back a little bit. We we're on the edge of being overbought. Technical indicators are still very bearish at this current stage, uh, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average that is roughly at uh, 90.14 at this point, that is going to be massively sold into. So, uh, basically, rallies are selling opportunities in this current stage. But this has had an enormous effect on commodities, on precious metals, and indices, and so on. So uh, so uh, the lower this goes, well, the higher everything else goes. So let's look at oil. So we can see that we reached uh 50.86 at uh, in in basically WTI oil and we haven't been this high for well really really high basically prior to the to the coronavirus outbreak and uh, to be very honest this doesn't make any sense um try to uh, test this market but was not very successful and therefore I just stay technically away from this main reason is that this market is behaving like there is enormous demand in the market uh, when the truth is completely the opposite. There is not enormous demand for um, oil in the, basically in the market, mainly due to the fact that Europe is basically in a lockdown. Most of the major countries, the United States is not doing as well as it used to. It used to. And uh, technically the world is not doing as good as it did prior to the coronavirus. So why in the world should oil, which is basically used as the as the engine for the engine of the world economy, why it should be increasing like this? Well, in my view, pure speculation. We could see an enormous fall in oil, basically at any time. Most of this move has been due to to um, uh, vaccine news. That was basically this part. Then it was basically stimulus. That was this part. And then it was basically OPEC news, and that was this part. So at this current stage, I wouldn't be surprised if we went all the way into 60. Uh, 55 is probably the target at this current stage. Uh, technical indicators are very bullish. We're on the edge of being overbought. And to be overbought in oil when the world economy is down, that does not make any sense whatsoever. We should be basically trading down at $25. That is where we should be trading, roughly down here. That is basically where we should be trading at this current stage. But we are basically at uh, uh, almost at the same uh, levels uh, prior to the coronavirus, before all of this started, when the world economy was basically uh, working and so on. So just keep that in mind, this is more speculation than fundamentals so but if you want to trade uh, trade this then it is not a good idea to enter here it's basically a pullback towards the 20 because the 20 is acting as major support at this current stage we ran into the 20 here and then just exploded to the upside and uh, pullbacks towards the 20 are seen at the moment as buying opportunities with a tight stop loss right underneath so let's look at natural gas So we have tried to rally up towards the 50 moving week average, but I think that the, we are just witness, witnessing more of the same. 
we have been moving broken down rallying broke down rally broke down rally and then broke down to 200 and now we try to rally again we're running into massive resistance here at the 50 moving average so i would not be surprised if we turned around here and went even lower uh, demand for natural gas is not as high as it was expected it to uh, so and the reason why is because the uh, weather is not as bad as it was expected or it isn't as cold as as expected and that has a major effect on this market it can turn around turn around in um instant as you've basically seen here we gapped down significantly the other day to all the way down to the 200 moving average and then rallied and at this moment we're finding major uh we're finding major resistance here at the 50 moving average and i think that we're just going to roll over here and head back down technical indicators are still bullish but the cci and the rsi are showing signs of basically of this turning around macd and the stochastic are still bullish at the current stage so if we start to break the 50 moving average then that is a sign that we are going to rally significantly higher then three uh, is basically your target at this point otherwise a breakdown towards the 200 moving average is is basically more likely at this current stage so let's look at copper so copper rallied all the way up to 3.7 which was also uh, where i expected this to go we found major resistance here uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are we are getting fairly overstretched. We are at uh, 68, but copper has gone significantly higher in the RSI before turning around significantly. Um, otherwise, technical indicators are looking very bullish. The MACD is going to cross the signal line in probably tomorrow's session, and that will probably kick this market even higher. If we break uh, above 3.7, then we're testing going to test 3.8. But uh, yes, this is a market that has been rallying for uh, uh, ever since basically the bottom of the market here in, in March last year. And now we're trading basically at 3.7 is basically the highs. 3.65 we are at this current stage. But pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that is your entry point for the market for a buy with a stop loss right underneath. So let's look at gold. So gold did fall all the way down to 1900 as expected and then pulled back. So we can confirm that this trend line is basically up the bottom of this market. So we tested it and rallied. And at this current stage, we may go back towards this trend line. It is not very likely. I think that we'll see this market um, continue higher. There is a lot of uh, resistance above here, but we will gradually go higher from here. If we break below this uh, trend line here, we have the 20 and the 50 moving average right underneath and the 200, and that it will be massive support. Technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this point, but we also had a move of roughly 2.5% uh, fall in the, the market today. But this trend line is holding, and as long as that is the case, this will continue higher. We started buying into this at 1900 and that was apparently the right choice so let's look at silver so as you can see we also broke down here in silver it is also holding this trend line here we can put it up like that it is also holding and uh, we were fairly overstretched we are at 67 at this current stage technical indicators are still bullish but are showing signs of weakness uh, but we are probably just going to go gradually up to to this uh, this uh, support line and break through all of these resistance areas. Target at the moment is actually 30. Uh, pullbacks towards this resistance line are major buy-ins. If this resistance line, support line breaks, then the 20 exponential will offer support and the 50 will also offer support. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has basically been all over the place today. I think we have, we hit an area where where we there's going to be a lot of uh, resistance. It is fairly overstretched. 
we pull back a little bit, but we're at 68 at this current stage. Technical indicators are turning around the CCI and the stochastic. MACD is still bullish, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly uh, 1,441. That is your buying opportunity for this market. It is um, it is overstretched. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, we can see that we are outside of the Bollinger Band and it is expected to pull back towards the middle. And that is roughly here at 1,041. So just wait until it falls. It will fall towards the middle of this Bollinger Band. And that is your entry point with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at Pallium. So as expected yesterday, this is the, the highest of this market and we broke all the way down to 2.4. It was down roughly, I think, 4% today, give or take. We're trading still above the 20 exponential. As long as that is the case, expect this to act as support and not resistant. We are trading in a range of, basically write it up here in a, like this. So the highs are here, the lows are here, and we're trading basically at the top of the highs. This could break all the way down to this area if we manage to break the 20 and the 50 moving average. So see moves similar to this. At this current stage, if we rally up towards this area and this area holds, then it's basically a selling opportunity, very similar to what happened today. So I hope you find this help, uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.